much. Alright guys, just want to talk about Vention's latest video relating to the boyfriend won't marry me. Where the girlfriend's gone off the rails and basically managed to get rid of her. Um, he, I was in a relationship when I first left school. After, well, that's I was 19. That gap between school and 19, I partied a lot. <laughs> uh, I was basically clubbing every weekend. Passion and Pain night on... I would say Monday night, yeah, because I used to go to the Images, Picassos, Trams, different nights of the week. So let's just say I was out four to five nights a week, drinking, partying, with girls, etc. Um, but eventually I ended up with this girl, and she made my life an absolute nightmare. When we first met, it was quite an interesting thing, because she was saying she was getting stalked by her old boyfriend and stuff, and he would... You know, there was something strange, but it, you, at the time you don't really get into it because you trust what she's saying. Not that I did any physical harm to the guy because he was only a little guy anyway, but there was something very peculiar going on. It was later on I found out it's because she hadn't broken up with him. They were still, as far as he's concerned, still boyfriend and girlfriend. But on top of that, she was then making out. I was doing it, hassling her in some form, which was completely untrue as well. She created a relationship that was very yin and yang, in the sense it was all abuse or reward. It was like very sexual and very destructive at the same time. And it was to create an imbalance, because I'm not an insecure person, but that relationship made it very difficult to focus on other things because the relationship was causing that much stress and hassles and anxiety and stuff, because it was always on a, a knife edge. Or you assume it is. And the reason I bring it up, because uh, when I eventually mentioned about this girl going crazy because the guy wouldn't marry her, I can understand that because I was in a relationship which was very destructive um, and it was very difficult to even contemplate why somebody was doing this stuff. And something that Benjamin also brought up was the difference between a man and a woman as well, which I would say for most people is true in the sense that men are normally more protective and defensive and even if they split up with somebody they don't wish them any harm. A lot of women are very different. Um, now in my case this relationship eventually I, I left it. This woman was still following me around three years later. I had to move house and other stuff to get rid of her. She attacked my new girlfriend um, in the street and she was off her head but at the same time she'd also put her new boyfriend onto something that was similar when I had first met her relating to her ex-boyfriend and being stalked and doing this and I hadn't even spoken to her I didn't you know I, once I had moved on I move on I'm not um, I don't have any attachments to somebody and I'm it may sound quite brutal in that sense but once I've made that decision to move on, it's because I, I personally believe there is no way to um, resolve the issues, fix the relationship, etc. I don't have any hate, I don't have any anger, I have nothing for the other person. I don't mean them any harm, I mean nothing. You know, almost like strangers. Doesn't mean I dislike them or anything else, it's simply, it's, it was experience and I've moved past it. Um, but I know a lot of women can't do that and I know my last ex was very similar in that case because she became quite awkward when I left uh, but this this girl she followed me around for three years she had her boyfriend trying to attack me at work had the police have to remove him a couple of times um, and other things and you think well why didn't you just attack the guy it's my workplace also I knew the guy was not was not fully aware of what his new girlfriend was actually up to. Um, I bumped into him several years later because his sister was getting a new kitchen and I was a surveyor around there surveying the house for the kitchen. Completely different guy. Because um, the whole point is this woman was trying to keep you on a knife edge, making you very, um, well, Destructive, trying to get you destructive because it's destroying you, but also is keeping you at a high level and trying to get you very angry and stuff. 
when in fact you're being played. And this is why I can understand when they were, when Benjamin was on about this. I, I thought, yeah, I know somebody who'd fit into that quite well um, because she was she was a bloody nightmare. And the reason I'm bringing this up is really to marriage. Imagine what that would have been like if I had married her. She would have just had half the house and everything else. She would have made false claims left, right and centre. She was already doing it between different guys, saying, oh, he's he's stalking me and whatever. And then you're finding out she'd phoned him um, to meet her for something. And then you... But it all comes out later on because you find from speaking to the guys because everything's been defused because that little bomb in the middle, the bloody woman, has been removed from the equation so the the guys can actually talk to each other and you find out the truth. But at that time you're still young, you're still foolish, you're likely to do something stupid if if it was aroused, you know, in the sense that somebody was actually stoking that fire. In this case she was, but quite simply I just moved past it, left. But it took three years to get rid of her. Three years of being hassled by somebody. Nightmare. But it, the point being is, if I married her, I would have had a hell of a life. Um, she would have destroyed it. And I'm sure even after I would have got divorced or whatever, she would have still been hassling me where she could. And one of the problems I find in the UK is they don't take it seriously from the man's side. From a woman's side, the guy's a pervert, he's a stalker, he's this or that. But when a woman does it, it's laughed off. It's like, oh, grow up. But the problem you get is that women can often be very manipulative. They can be very, very deceptive. Um, but also, they, from the women I know, they find it much harder to move on. I'm not, I don't know if all women are the same, but I do find that a lot of women struggle to, they have some connection with their past. Myself, I have nothing. You know, at the end of the day, once I've moved past that, it's gone. You know, don't get me wrong, kids, different story. The kids I have an attachment with, at the same time, is limited thanks to the UK court system and what they call the family courts, but I call it the uh, tax system. Um, but anyway, just be aware of that, that if your relationship is very fiery, difficult or whatever, it can be worse if you decide to go down the route of marriage. And it can be far, far reaching and even when you move out, it could follow you around for the rest of your life. Alimony could have been an issue. Child support could have been an issue. Losing nearly everything I own would have been an issue. But instead it was early enough to walk away from it. Um, but it's why I wouldn't marry in the UK. That relationship, then it followed on to another relationship which lasted another 11 years. And I've got to admit, my ex on that one wasn't too bad. It was just a couple of things. We, we just didn't gel, if you know what I mean. We just had different outlooks on life, etc. I have no hate or anything towards her. But at the same time, she wasn't happy when I left. I'll tell you that now, she was not happy. She's happily married now and stuff and moved past it, but I don't know, I don't understand it. I don't know why people drag it on so long. You're already in this chaos, so once you come out of it and think, oh, I've dodged the bullet there, or we simply weren't compatible, what is the issue? I know with somebody I work with, she would keep an eye on her ex-boyfriend's Facebook to see if, she, if her, his new girlfriend was better looking than her and stuff like that, and you're thinking, why? Who cares? Why does it matter to you? You've gone past that. Just be happy, you know. I don't get it. I've got to be honest, I do not get it why people do this stuff. You're better off just going, whoa, that was experience. Move on. Thanks for watching.